Hello everyone. Today we have the famous Z88 on the bench. Uh, this is a not non-working unit. I wish I can I could say um, this is a Sinclair Z88, but it, this is not the case. Um, it is a child of uh, Circle Life Sinclair, indeed, uh, coming from 1987. But um, there is no Sinclair logo. Um, at that time, it was Cambridge computers, um, the the uh, latest establishment from Sir Clive. This is a lightweight machine. I'm not calling this a laptop. I'm calling this a uh, portable machine. The the size of A4, very lightweight, with uh, with three bays, uh, expansion bays. You can put extra RAM, ROM or EEPROM cartridges on the side. The the power in and the uh, contrast knots and the other side the serial uh, communications port um, to transfer um, to files with other computers, PCs and uh, whatever was there um, the sticker, the label underneath the 640 by 64 LCD screen gives you all the shortcuts you need for the operations the rubber key is fantastic uh, it's dustproof and waterproof and the feeling is great and um, yeah uh, on the back uh, we can see uh, the battery compartment something very very nice and useful it uh, operates with four batteries and uh, um, you can see the sticker let me hold this the right uh, way so you can see the serial number is also marked on the plastic uh, apart from the sticker and I can explain this this is why let me turn this over so you can see have a better view it's because this sticker will not be uh, there or will be damaged in a while there is a screw underneath there made in Scotland and this is uh, this is something you cannot see every day so there is a screw underneath there and we have to remove it um, in order in order to open the machine and uh, see why this little fellow doesn't work uh, it wasn't cheap but I have decided and came with no cartridges whatsoever to me but I have decided to buy it in order to give it a try uh, if there is uh, uh, something like no fried components inside or whatever um, we, we can probably fix it here together um, there is no uh, nothing on the screen um, uh, I tried with the batteries for now and um, of course uh, I cannot tell if the keyboard works or anything like this so let me open this up removing now the the rubber keyboard is not enough there is a plastic case which holds everything together and on top of that there is a fantastic membrane very good membrane um, nice quality and we have to check those two connectors underneath if they, those are connected or uh, damaged in any case but um, in the meantime I have to wash the keyboard and uh, I'll be back uh, in a few minutes to go deeper and yes it is as easy as it seems as easy as it gets simply washing a rubber keyboard um, I'll leave it here to dry now back to membrane cleaning a makeup remover and some alcohol will do the job uh, simply uh, by very gently and softly of course uh, trying to clean all the uh, points connection points button points whatever uh, is there uh, on both sides uh, it is dusty but to me it looks like there is no other problem than that I'm curious to see what is really happening with this machine in the end uh, and if we're going to be uh, able to make it uh, work again 
Okay, now that we have removed the plastic cover that holds the keyboard together, we can see clearly that the vertical or horizontal uh, ribbon is not connected at all. Um, I think those ribbons uh, control uh, next to the Z80, you can see the Z84 here, uh, control the um, coordinates for, the for each key pressing. Uh, I hope it is that. Uh, after all, three cartridge um, compartments, the RAM and the ROM, 32 kilobytes of RAM, by the way, um, and the ROM holds the BBC BASIC. This is important. Uh, a fully featured uh, BASIC is embedded. Um, very nice. Uh, this speaker looks like the ZX Spectrum to my eyes the brightness uh, variable over there very nice and good looking um, PCB the green super uh, capacitor holds the uh, uh, voltage um, by the time giving you all the time you need to swap the batteries uh, the um, uh, serial na 9 pin connector over there and the reset button on the other side which needs whenever you need to uh, reset the machine takes uh, 15 to 20 seconds you gotta press it and uh, the machine is reset um, I, c I still can see no damage to the membrane I'm just gonna have to put uh, one of those two ribbons in place and check uh, the machine um, no uh, other um, I mean something obvious um, I cannot tell I cannot see anything that is damaged uh, and uh, ultimately I will just plug in the uh, the ribbon and try to put everything back together and uh, give it some power so we can uh, check crossing fingers here um, and I hope this ribbon th over there is all we need to do uh, let's see Guys, I think we did it again. I just um, put the right um, date on the machine. Uh, it's powered up using the four batteries um, I've been trying to use uh, since the beginning. Um, the problem was just the ribbon that was out of place. Thank God, I like it. Um, very pleased. I need now to browse around and try some things like this contrast button. Contrast the screen looks good. Very tiny letters though, uh, at least to me. And every single um, key needs to be tested. Um, the menu, the arrow keys do work let's try the calendar um, we can try the diary is a good idea then we can try the pipe dream the pipe dream is actually an integrated um, word processor uh, slash uh, spreadsheet application using the index you can go back and uh, select another application to be opened the interesting thing is that um, you can leave it um, to the state it used to be um, by clicking two shifts together. So two shi oh, uh, at the same time, the two shifts uh, can pause the machine or put it in sleep mode. And um, uh, if you hit those uh, shift uh, keys again, it comes to the previous state. Now I'm writing some basic. It's been a while. Um, since I have written some basic uh, um, programs or let me let me see if I can remember how to make a loop for printing something out which is a simple the simplest thing to do um, and try the interpreter uh, three lines of code and this will be all sorry about the bad focus but my camera is not that uh, contemporary I guess so run run
Yeah. Yeah, um, I'm very pleased, very pleased uh, with the result. The machine works fine. Um, I have to build some kind of 6 volt DC uh, up to 1 amp uh, power supply for this machine. Uh, following the jack, uh, let's go back to something else. Yeah, I need to fix a um, dedicated power brick for this one. It's worth it. Um, yeah, I'll do that later, I guess. Um, let, let me. Sorry for uh, going over uh, here and there, but I'm trying to uh, to see if everything works and apparently so far so good uh, we're good everything looks normal I haven't used this machine before I have had no idea how it looks like the ho how this menu works and um, basic commands uh, I have to yeah give it some time uh, the first thing I did was to put the on the, the the right date and time and then I'm gonna swap the batteries to see um, if um, the date or the time um, resets or uh, this big capacitor uh, holds some uh, spare time for me to, to swap the batteries and so the date is kept uh, intact um, yes um, okay I think um, yeah what you can find also is the terminal um, which gives you the ability to connect this machine to other machines uh, via uh, terminal emulator software um, alarms, uh, reminders you can set uh, there is a easy link uh, feature to, g to get connected to PCs uh, the BBC uh, basic and the filer which transfers files so far what I know let me let me just try to to oh, I cannot do that both shifts one hand no I uh, cannot do that uh, let me do it properly so the filer transfers files uh, but as far as I know uh, only text files can be transferred and um, and you um, I don't know what other uh, if there is any other format there. Uh, by the way, the uh, operating system of this machine is called OZ. Um, what else is there? Uh, it's again the spreadsheet. And back to the main menu. I think, yeah, I, I, I did it um, a couple of rounds. Uh, Try to hit every key. I'm not gonna write a whole um, uh, text over the uh, yeah here is the filer where you can transfer files to EEPROM um, yeah um, I'm not gonna write the, a whole sentence or a letter over the spreadsheet or uh, over the um, sorry the word processor or do any math over the spreadsheet for now um, but I think I got the idea um, there was another ad over eBay for the um, expansion of the RAM, and I just uh, I just thought I was optimistic. Uh, I said, "Yeah, if what if I can make it work?" So I grabbed the uh, module of one to one twenty eight kilobytes of RAM. There, there you go, um, and I'm gonna try this. I'm not sure if uh, how it works if it is if it was uh, plug and play back in the day I have to check uh, but later just I'm gonna do this later so thanks for watching I consider subscribing um, uh, I just fell in love with this uh, machine I'm gonna spend some hours trying to um, to see what is capable of um, and yeah play a bit with it not not games machine again but uh, portable uh, very contemporary laptop for uh, 1987 um, or I should say portable um, yeah I like it very much thanks for watching uh, I know there are many many 
uh, Sinclair enthusiasts out there. I'm one of them, and I'm happy I uh, I could just bring this back to life tonight with you. Um, yeah, um, yeah. Consider subscribing. I'll be back soon with uh, uh, new videos. Uh, so stay tuned. Thanks.